his, permission. His yeah, case, yes. <laughs> we've invited him because we've got some fun things around marriage, and so we thought you should come so people can hear your take it's on true. all the party. We are we are very different, you and I. Mm, just a little bit. It's taken a few years to figure that out, but <laughs> yeah. But I'm glad we're different. <laughs> Me too. So we're just really kind of um, excited to share, I guess, differences. That's really what we're kind of diving into a bit with this and marriage and. Um, it's the thing that nobody thinks <laughs> is going to happen to them or something. I'm not sure. Or that they're going to be fine without ever having to put some work in. It, it feels like the biggest red flag that people just don't look at. <laughs> yeah, sure. We are so different. Yeah, that's, that's, true. that's the truth of it. Like, yeah, it's like, um, I wonder how much anxiety we can endure. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's get married. And it, it right away... I mean, some people are are similar in a lot of ways, and so the anxiety comes from the enormous consequence that is created from having uber strengths in one direction and uber weaknesses in the other direction. Yeah. Yeah. But most of us are attracted to some kind of balance. It's true. Like there would be... We crave it. <clears throat> yeah, like, <laughs> wow, wow, I really admire all the stuff you're so good at. And that you do just naturally, like you just enter a room and you just start talking and you make friends right away and you just do this thing. And then eventually it's like, could you stop doing that? (laughs) (laughs) The thing I fell in love with. Yeah. Could you stop just being the center of attention all the time and inviting people over to our house in the middle of the whatever? (laughs) And now I know why I don't do like that thing that you do so well. And I, I think that. It um, it causes growth and yeah. it causes tension and um, we got to get good at this stuff. I was I was actually thinking last night, just preparing for this and thinking through marriage and what I've learned and which is a long list. But I was thinking about you know we had couples around us that had worked on marriage really well and had had built this beautiful thing that we were following and, and wanted to build our life off of and. And then we, we get married mm-hmm. and we start we're like, well, why don't we feel that yet? Why isn't that <laughs> happening? <laughs> when does the oh, happy it, part? It, it requires some work, which is the part that it feels like you have to kind of run into. Like th- there's, there's work required. So mm-hmm. very much so. Learning all the time. Yeah, I do. I remember the seasons when we were first married. Of, you know, I think of Gabe and Leah Valenzuela. Yeah. We were always around them and they just seem to enjoy each other mm-hmm. <laughs> more than what I felt like was happening between the two of us. Mm-hmm. Um, and we watched them have their first baby and we had our second when they had, or our first when they had their second. Mm-hmm. And, you know, having somebody that was, you know, doing it well and growing gave us hope <laughs> For all this. We'll get there. <laughs> they're young. And they, I mean, they're not that far out of us, but they, they're figuring it out. I, that was, that was really, uh, it was a, it was a great uh, relationship for us. I think in the beginning yeah. to. And that's an example of two two people that are pretty close in energy mm-hmm. and sure. uh, approach adaptation. Yeah. You know, they're both mm-hmm. very adaptive mm-hmm. people, and they're just kind of chill and you know. so really they were false advertising for what we were that's what's coming out well, right the main thing is you got hope okay okay let's that's go true. with that we did get hope. let's go with the hope yeah. it's uh you know it it becomes a a battle of who's right whose mm-hmm. life and character and personality and needs who which one of us is right because <laughs> you know, one of us is right, and the other one is evil. You know, you're like, oh gosh, that you, we need to change that about you because you need to be more <laughs> like me. So the discipling begins here, and we're diving in. Yeah, and, <laughs> I'm sorry. And, and then we go to war, right? And we uh, essentially we're just trying to endure each other. And I think a key is that we. The, as, as soon as we realize there's two of us in this marriage, two valuable, powerful people, yeah. then we can talk about becoming one. Because yeah. otherwise we, you know, we say, when the two shall become one, 
And then we fight for 25 years over which one. Yeah. Which one are we going to become? You know, this is our our ongoing challenge is I got to change these things about you. Mm-hmm. I was just doing a conference this weekend. I, you know, I always, I do this often. I say, okay, how many people have been married at least 25 years? You know, and p- people raise like, we cheer, way to go. You know, mm-hmm. I say, that's about how long it takes <laughs> before we finally give up all hope <laughs> of ever controlling this other person. You know, like oh, your 25th wedding anniversary, you just roll over, you look at them <laughs> and you say, you're never going to change, are you? You're going to be like this for your, your the rest of our life together. Well, I guess we better figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> and it's super true. And it, the faster you realize that, you don't have to wait till you yeah. you've been married for 25 years. Oh, good. We're almost there, you, you're right? I know you're yeah. almost there. But the sooner you yeah. allow the other person to be them in your presence, yeah. is the sooner you get to that happy place. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, and this was the big thing for me, I, I I think it happened multiple times. I feel like I was incrementally learning this lesson, you know, probably year one, I was like, huh, and then year five, and maybe year 10, and it's still going, but I, I just remember some of the big moments for me when I started to realize I, w- I was living this, Brittany's needs matter more than mine, mm-hmm. or she seems more important, or she's louder, or she's showing up more, so I must be less important, mm-hmm. and then we agreed together, so we played it out. I mean, I totally agree. Why wouldn't I agree? Uh (laughs) Thank you for saying that. It just validates everything that I've been thinking is true. (laughs) Yeah, and and you're more adaptive Mm -hmm. and you're more of an arranger. Mm -hmm. You know, like you walk into a room and that chair's crooked and you you sit in it. And you walk in the room and she she wonders why it's blue and why it's here. And she moves it to the other side of the room and scoots the couch over no way. Like, yeah. You know, Keep watching for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And so it is a, uh, and these two people meet each other. Yep. And, over and over again. And they both have to grow and adjust to, all right, how do I adapt to you mm-hmm. and how do I arrange her? Yeah. You know, so okay. it, it's, it's muscles that you don't naturally think about developing until you get in this situation where you're, Again and again and again and again, faced with, ouch, ouch, this isn't working. Mm-hmm. 